Hey everyone, Kyle once again. Welcome back to a short, as like I said, short part three, part three of of the 2010 remake of Piranha. So I just, I, I just got, to, I just explaining it, I just explaining how at the end, how the, a giant piranha uh, attacks Adam Scott, and that was it. So yeah, like I said before, uh, the like, what, what what I liked in the film is that uh, I liked Elizabeth Shue, I liked um, Big Rames, um, Christopher Lloyd, and Richard Drivers. The other characters, uh, Jerry O'Connell, um, well, trying to be the funny, trying to be like the funny guy with all the jokes and stuff like that, you know. But um, he 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 was all right, I guess, you know. He was all right. Um, Adam Scott, he was he was he was um, I would say he's, he was good along with Elizabeth Shue and the others, you know. Um, Stephen R. McQueen and uh, the and uh, Jessica Sozar Hope playing his girlfriends. And I would say so so, you know. Even though I know Steve I know Stephen R. Uh, Stephen, he's the grandson of Steve McQueen though, but he was he was so so. I wasn't the particular the biggest fan of both of those, you know. Um yeah, I wasn't particularly a fan of both of those though, but but the rest of the cast I thought was was, was overall pretty good, you know. Especially I like I liked Christopher Lloyd and Richard Drivers and and Elizabeth Shue and and also Vig Rames, you know. Um Anything else? Uh, this film, this film was uh, is on for eighty is uh, eighty eight minutes. You know, it's I, I wasn't a particular bored. You know, overall, you know, I wasn't I wasn't bored. It was it went at a decent pace. You know, and um, it was some of the problems I didn't like. I, there's the jokes I'm not like, so I'm not didn't find it funny. Like the you know what the the penis scene. You know, or or the of course all the the the, the graphic new that was in this. You know, that's you know how. I don't know how to, how to, I don't know what to say about that though, but I mean, if that was part of the reason why this film got praised, you know, maybe also by because for the cast and the gore, you know, stuff like that though. But I'm not just I'm not I'm just not that fond, I'm not so that fond of it, you know, of all the new that they put in this film, you know. Which of course they do the same thing in the sequel, you know, which I'm not 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 that fan of either. But I'll get to that. But I'll get to that review though. Um, but one of the things I do like in the scene, like um. I like the scene where Christopher Lloyd tells about the, tells about the piranhas, you know, or um, the, the 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 scenes where like a, like like when Elizabeth Shue uses a taser or shocks some of the piranhas, uh, Big Rames using the propel the motor propeller to to slice uh, all the piranhas up and they have there. Um, I like the uh, sort of the, I like the opening with uh, opening with Richard Drivers kind of playing the same character that he did in Jaws, you know, playing Matt Hooper, you know, but different last name though. I, I thought it was kind of that was kind of neat, and also the, the little references to Jaws, where Richard Drivers had, you know, with singing the song, or you know, the, the same clothes that he, he was wearing in the original film, in the original Jaws film, you know. Uh, da, 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 the gore, the, 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 like I said, I like I like the I like the, I like the gore scenes, like um, like um, there was a uh, director e Eli Roth, you know, his like his head got smashed in between two uh boats, you know, or. Or or there or there's some where they're pulling some people out of the, out of the water like um a guy has like a on his leg has like a piece of his flesh just dangling out or when the two guys are pulling a girl out all of a sudden she gets torn in half you know as they're pulling her to shore you know or one or one guy um car carrying one guy but all of a sudden you see these he's his below the waist is gone you know um remember memories and we're also reading up what else there is um. I thought uh, ring up. I thought um, like director Joe Dante uh, was supposed to make a cameo in this, but I could be wrong. Uh, da -da 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 -da, I'm just I'm just looking up. What else? Um, I, th I also think ring up for the special effects. I think I uh, think uh, Greg Nicotero, you know, who does the effects on The Walking Dead, you know, I think I, th I think he had had a hand in this. Uh, let me look up. Um, where the effects are on this thing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Greg Greg Nicotero. You know who did the the, the most of the effects on The Walking Dead? You know, he he yeah, yeah he did he help ha have the hand in the, in the effects in this. You know the especially the makeup stuff. You know, not on the not on the not on the piranhas, but the makeups like on the the gore pieces like people by marks and stuff like that. You know, so okay the the, the makeup the makeup effects on like on the gores and stuff like on the victims. Okay. 
Especially, especially all the praise that Greg and Charles go done on The Walking Dead, you know, everybody likes, I would say most of like 95% of the people like The Walking Dead, you know, like all the effects. Now, even Greg and Nicotero had directed a lot of episodes on the, on the Walking Dead as well, you know, so. So, yeah, whatever thing of people who would, uh, whatever his work on The Walking Dead, he had a hand on, on the, on the special makeup effects on Piranha as well, you know. And even he, even was on, in the, the remake of The Hills of Ice, he portrayed as one of the cannibals. He was the, I believe he was the one of them, had that, that thing around his neck, you know, like, um, a restraint thing on his, on the guy, you know, he was that, um, the character, the lead actor, I forget what his name was, um, Aaron, I think it was Aaron Stanford, I think, he, like, he wanted, he killed him with the axe, you know, I think Greg, that was, that was Greg Nicotero as that, as that, um, bad guy, you know, so, yeah, some, so, a special makeup effect, uh, artist, uh, had a hand on this, like, Greg Nicotero, um, um, directing by Alexander, Ag Alexander Hot Hot how his last name is pronounced, I can't remember. I don't know if that was that's his last name is pronounced. I'm sorry, you know. I'll just keep on saying how I say, you know. Um, I um do I do I like this better than the Hills of Eyes remake? Um, I I still I would still prefer the Hills of Eyes remake more than this though. Even though I do like the film, you know. But I, I would still prefer the Hills of Eyes over this though. Yeah, which which even that even that remake is pretty much the same. This is the same as the original though. The original Wes Craven, though, but I still prefer the remake of The Hills of Ice more than this one, though. Um, there's only not much for features. There's only five percent, five behind-the-scenes featurettes, and then the filmmaker's commentary. Uh, so, yeah, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So, um, overall, I do I do like Pro I do like Prawn 3D for. For, for for reason for most for most of the, for most of the things though, so, but of course there were some things I was not a particularly big fan of or didn't find that funny, you know. Even though I thought it was supposed to be like a, a, a part of it was supposed to be like a comedy as well, you know. It's is entitled horror comedy though, but there was just parts of the comedy that I just did not just did not like, you know, or, or did not think it was funny, you know. I think it would think it would be better with just like did straight up horror, you know, with leaving out the comic comedy stuff, you know. Because the original, the original was not com mostly comedy, you know. It was all monster, killer, fish, horror, you know. You get what, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, and there was also like a, one or two similar things they took from the from the original, like the scene where the thing starts, the stage starts tilting down, like almost like in the original, you know, or the when they're counting to counting to pull them out, you know, like in the, at the ending of the original, you know. So yeah, there was some. There was one or two things they took from the original, put them in here. So yeah, that's my, that's my review for Piranha or Piranha 3D. I do like overall. Um, um, most of the, the the cast I thought was what me keep would keep mostly I like keeps me going, you know, especially like Elizabeth Shue and uh, Christopher Lloyd, Big Frames, and Richard Drivers, you know. Um, so so that's so that's, so that's my review for and also once again, it's for saying I've got the, the the poster right there. Glare. If you can see, if you can see through the glares, you know. So yeah. So that goes to good. The showing that goes to show. I do like the film. So. Pardon me. Um. So that, so that's what. So that's my review for um the hills of. Uh, hills of eyes. I will do one day. I will do a review of the hills of eyes remake. Um. Just didn't mean to say that. That's my review for Piranha or Piranha 3D. And I will review the next. I will review the sequel, Piranha 3D D or Double D's. You know, that's another funny, a funny joke. You know, that ha 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 ha, which I didn't think that was funny. You know, or they could just call it Piranha 2. You know, but they just went with a 3D D. You know, so next I will do a review of that, the sequel. So thanks for watching. Take care and stay tuned for the next um, review. Later.